this is our 533. Um, it's the, it's the, um, this one is 70, it's 72, all of them 72. 72, we didn't get the exhaust brakes, engine brakes this year. They have the, you know, the usual, the amber light switch. I don't have my key. He's going up there to get on. He just took that one. He just bought one. PDIs. These, well, this one does not have Vandalock. Guilford, all these are Greensboro buses. Guilford, they don't have Vandalock like either. All of them, I think the entire row, at least he gets to the halfway, all of them are Greensboro. They don't have Vandalock either. The turn signal. Tire, obviously, more flap. This reverse light comes on, you back up. It's a 100 gallon diesel tank. And it's 533, that school bus sign lights up. Okay, this is a 2022 turn accessory. Um, this bus is equipped with. I didn't get on. I got on when they told me I can get on. Not the one I wanted, but it's okay. Um, it's equipped with the fast idle, which is a high idle button. This is panel increase and dimness, but you can't tell because it's off. Headlights, running lights, off. They automatic though with the parking brakes, so you don't even need those. Um, tip telescopic steering wheel. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the rest. You just gotta, they, they be getting stuck because they knew, so you gotta pull on it real hard. Um, windshield wiper fluid and windshield wipers, high beams. They're not on. There you go. See them out there. High beams, this is the gear shifter, Allison 2500 PTS transmission, has the engine exhaust brake button, engine brake, it's an exhaust brake. The light test button, which, turn that off, I'm going to use it in a minute. The parking brake, obviously we don't have the IntelliPark, traction control, driver AC, heat, passenger air, um, the fan. This is the red heat for the kids. High, low, off. Driver fan, I forgot. Low, high. Driver dome, turn on this good old LED right here. And dome lights turn on all the dome lights inside the bus, except the driver dome. Um, because this bus isn't programmed too heavy like that. Um, noise suppression, so if I want to turn on the AC, well, that's obviously that's not gonna work. But if I had all this on, then he and I want to get everybody's attention so I can say something versus turning everything off one by one, I can just press and everything temporarily goes off. There's also something to check if your air is not working on your heat or your fan. If you got a noise suppression button, you just make sure it's not on. Mirror heat, the destination sign is for the illuminated school bus sign, and you guys can kind of tell. Um, you look close, I'm gonna press it. You can't really tell. Okay, maybe you could tell through the, okay. You kinda can tell. On, off, on, off. But that lights up along with the stop sign. I believe the stop sign only comes on when you deploy it. Let's see. So, Hold on, we get to that in a minute. These are indicators post trip. So 
This lets you know you have to go to the back to press to deactivate the system along with the lights being on or the horn will go off. We try to get off. This bus is equipped with vent a lot. So there's a lock on the front door and you use it with the key. I have that key, but I'm, obviously I can't turn it on from the outside. Um, and there's a lock on the back door. So if you try to crank up the bus and that door was locked or, or this emergency equipment box was locked, it won't start. And now I'll show you, hold on. Um, Go ahead and so if you did that, locked it, and you tried to crank it up, it just deeply will start and that indicator will flash. You do that no way. And you kind of can see it's flashing in the lock and it won't start. Now if I so having to turn that back off, unlock it. And this goes for the same as the back door or any emergency exit that has a lock on it. So that's why it's really going off. And it cranks. And that's the engine fan. And Air ride seat, this is the broom holster. There's a trash can equipped with a trash can mount. Um, what am I missing? 72 passenger child restraint seat. So if you let this down, the, um, you put two in here. But they have to have IEP in North Carolina, which is dumb, but I put them in there anyway. Um, emergency exit windows, if the bus is on, you know, I wish it is on. No, it's not, I guess that's something new. Better, um, um, that will sound you can press it out and get out the bus um that's if the if you're trapped um people don't really know this but you don't put the climb out these if the bus flip over that's when you climb out so you press on it and lift it open like that and that's how that works um same thing with the back door as usual you want to try to get out the back door first if you can't get out the front then you want to try the side windows and if that doesn't work, if the bus flipped over or, if, you know, pushed on the shelf, you can jump off the bus if you want to. If that works, if it's like your life, I guess. Back door. The, these lights, backup lights do come on to give you some, a little bit of visual when you getting out the bus in case it's low light. That's a red heater. That's the AFT button I was telling y'all about. Um, These dome lights will go off in a second. Um. We're going to try this school bus sign. Let me see if the destination sign will, because I can see from the back. Let's see. Okay, so you would have to. So people don't know how this works, so let's try it. So when we get, we let y'all on the bus, we press this button, right? It's called an amber light button. You can see the amber lights start flashing, the orange lights. Now, with the new bus, they have something called a three-position switch. So, if I press the door switch open one time, the door will stay closed. The crossing gate did not come out because there's not enough air, but it's good. I don't want it to. Um, that was the point of me not airing it all the way up. The red lights will come on, and that stop sign will deploy. You can't tell because it's per daylight outside, but this stop sign is new. It's a different type of stop sign, and the actual word stop, like the entire sign has a backlight to it. So, at night, you would be able to see the actual whole sign along with the you could read it like it's like a backlight. The same with the destination sign for the school bus. How you can see is coming on. I press the button. That comes on with the stop sign. Then we press the door all the way up. Oh, the crossing gate isn't open because the door is open. So we press the door open all the way up. The crossing gate will deploy. The door will open. And there's you close it back and everything goes off. Now we could just do open them all the way up, close it one time, the crossing gate will come back in, the doors will close, the amber lights, the red warning lights will continue to flash till you close them all the way. Or if, if I had it on and I press the cancel button, but if I don't close it back all the way, regardless if I press this to pick up kids again, that would just come right out. So you wanna make sure you close it all the way, then press it and you will see that the amber indicator come on. Amber lights are on. Um, 
Somebody asked how we work the bus. This is what this is for. You put your feet on the, you make sure your air pressure is all the way up. You put your feet on the brake. That's not enough air, but you push this, it release, you put it in drive. Engine exhaust brake. I don't have to turn it on because the way this bus is going, they mandatory. So if they turn them off, they're gonna get in trouble anyway. So they're gonna make sure that's on before they even get them. And that's about it. Somebody wanted a light test on video. I guess I'll do that before I leave. So thanks for watching. Oh, to deactivate the system, now that I use the stop sign, I told the bus I put kids on here. I'm not gonna set the horn off. But if I turn the bus off, the lights come on. Let me go ahead and activate it because I don't want that to. Okay, the lights come on. That's a loud bang. The stop sign, that's heavier, so it makes a louder noise when they come in. But when I turn the bus off, it's not put the lights on. The red lights and stop sign. I told the bus I put kids on. So before I can get off, the bus says, you need to go back there and check, or you can't get off. So if I try, if I want to get off, I press this button, releases the air from the door, and I press on the door. Um, but if I did that now, alone would go off. And you have this light called the post trip indicator, telling you to go back there. See, when you walk in, but the goal is to go back here and press that silver button on top by the air conditioner. But the point of walking back here, it, the same thing would happen if I if I tried to go. The same thing would happen if I tried to go out the back door. You press this button. Sometimes I know some bus drivers might tell their kids when they get to the school, like we have no idling rules. So people who do follow them might be like. When they get to the school in the morning early, they turn the bus off, and somebody might push this button or some type of button in the back. That's what it's for. You press it, and the lights flash. They will stay on for about another minute, but they'll go back off. But the reason to walk into the back was to check for kids, sleeping kids or articles. So if I try to get off now, the horn would not go off. And then we just press this to drain the air. We done. Where I was going, he going. Well, they got a bus up there because they're going to let me drive. I'll hurry up before he leave. Um. Uh,